welcome to today's video today i felt like just sitting down and filming a makeup tutorial i want this to be something that i do more often but if i can be extremely honest with you guys i realized that here on my youtube channel people watch more of my vlogs and land up watching more of like my other lifestyle content um instead of my fashion and beauty content and i'm someone who started out my career as a vlogger um almost like 9 years ago at this point mainly as fashion and beauty and on youtube i've just really enjoyed doing my beauty challenges i've done stuff like a 5 minute beauty challenge i've done stuff where i do my makeup in alphabetical order i've done stuff like i do a lot of really creative beauty stuff and i realized that people are not watching more of like my vlogs and stuff which also i enjoy making but you need to tell me down below in the comments if you think i should continue to do these good old makeup tutorials the kind of stuff where i give you mini reviews of the products as i use them as we go along with the video i personally really enjoy beauty content creating as well as watching in general and uh, if i have enough of you over here in that corner then i will continue to do this and i will continue to do it consistently i mean i upload four to five videos over here a week anyway so I can do more beauty stuff if you guys will see more beauty stuff and of course please keep telling me what you want to see in general also niche comment section mein apart from that I have been doing a lot of beauty content for my Hindi channel which is a channel that really needs your love and support so if you haven't already I know like this is the intro and I usually do this towards the end but if you do want to give me some support please go over and subscribe to my Hindi channel as well that is a channel that's new that I am kind of still figuring out what works and what doesn't and I know I always say this to you guys but if you really want to make my channel more discoverable and help me get better views because that is a conversation I've had very candidly with you in the past um on comments on the community page on my YouTube stories then please go ahead and hit like on these videos because they need to get enough likes for it to actually be suggested to more people to get me help me get the views I am slapping earrings now I think my earring is like is rebelling that and I'm getting to the tutorial so that's what I'm going to do now I have an idea about the kind of look I have in mind I have a YouTube live session slated for later today so literally in like 3 hours I'm going to be live with you guys here on YouTube I'm so excited and I'm so nervous um so I want to look really nice and glam and I feel colorful so let's not make this intro any longer and let's just dive right into it Okay so first things first you guys know I never start off doing my makeup without prepping my face today I'm using the Farsali Unicorn Essence this is something I got my hands on a couple of months ago and I've been using it um not like every day or anything but it is something I have been using about maybe 3 or 4 times a week in particular what I really love about this is that the serum the one I'm using right now is just so nice makes my skin feel all nice and soft and leaves that radiant uh finish which is really great for absolutely any makeup look obviously um i am someone who loves a good dewy base like i like a matte finish once in a while as well of course sure but i do have dry skin and i feel like there is nothing as beautiful as a good dewy base that lets your skin shine through that lets your skin just breathe you know like lets your skin be your skin it doesn't look like plastic it doesn't look like a layer it looks natural it looks fresh and uh, this particular product i think does a very good job of that also a little secret if you go ahead and massage it into your skin really nicely it does have a slightly tacky consistency like it's gone in right now it's not oily but it has a little bit of tackiness in its texture so if you want and this is only if you want you can go ahead and skip the primer wow i can't believe i just said that i never skip primer um and you will see me using a primer now also but i understand that people are busy yeah on the regular when you're like getting ready to go to college going to office obviously you may not have the time for a full fledged um makeup routine so if you're doing like a lazy girl makeup routine then i think you can skip the primer if you're using a product like this which reminds me let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to go ahead and do like a couple of um lazy girl makeup routines like things that are like cheat day makeup routines no foundation makeup routines mujhe makeup routines karne hain i want to do more makeup routines for you guys 
uh, as I keep talking, I should tell you which product I'm using. I'm using the Sugar Aquaholic Priming Moisturizer. I do genuinely want to do more makeup routines, but like I mentioned in the intro, I just I don't know. I feel like if enough of you want to watch my makeup routines, I will do it. Um, for a while in the middle there, I used to say that mine is a beauty channel. And even though it's not just a beauty channel, a lot of my content has been beauty related. But you might have noticed that in the last few weeks, last couple of months maybe, I've toned down on the beauty content because A, I feel that in lockdown, mein, koi makeup laga ke kahan ja raha hai. that's number one. Who's going there with makeup on? We're all sitting at home and sitting on Zoom and sitting on video calls and whatnot. Um, and secondly, I also realized that people were watching on my channel, especially I can only speak for myself, but just watching more of the other content more. So I miss doing those many beauty videos, but then of course I can't just keep making it for the heck of it also. Na? Anyway, about this product, I should tell you, this primer is just so good. Even though it's a primer, it is like a moisturizer. It is so nice and soft and easy to work with. And uh, it's from the Aquaholic range. And because it's from the Aquaholic range, it has this really nice hydrating um, feel on the skin and also finish. Like if you look at my face, you'll see that it's looking really nice and like juicy and I like that about it. I want my skin to look as juicy, as fresh as possible because obviously you want your skin to look and feel very healthy. I have to admit that in the last couple of months, I've been getting some really stupid, insane breakouts over here, especially I don't know if you can see it. Um, over here, I've literally been getting breakouts inside my hairline. Uh, apart from which, like in June-ish, I had proper breakouts on my face. I'm someone who literally did not have any breakouts in my life till I turned 22. And uh, slowly, slowly, one-off, one-off would start coming. And in this lockdown, so I feel like breakouts and I have become like frenemies of sorts where it they want to be with me, but I don't want to be with them. Kind of that kind of scenario basically for the foundation i'm going with bobby brown skin longwear foundation this one in particular i've chosen for today's look because even though it's really nice and like can be full coverage you have to layer it up for it to be full coverage which basically means if i want to leave it at a medium uh, for that shine and the juice to shine through it really really can and I kind of just want my skin to look like my skin but better. And correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like the trend now is to stick to like more natural makeup, which is amazing. I'm someone who's always enjoyed doing like full coverage concealer and all. But my base should always look like my base. I feel like I'd never want my skin to look like... Like if someone comes up to me and says, wow, your foundation's looking great. I'm like, okay, I know you mean it as a compliment. But basically, that means my foundation is looking like foundation. Um, I feel like your foundation has to be something that looks like your skin, but better. That's when it's doing its job correctly. I am thinking, and this is on my mind, I don't know if I should do it. Like, I'm thinking of doing it on my Hindi channel because, like I said, here, I don't know if enough people want to see it. Like a little beginner series because, you know, I did a lipstick series, like a lipstick week earlier this year. In April, May, I think we did lipstick week. And I'm thinking of doing something like that where I do a series of videos for beginners. If you guys want to see that here in English, please let me know. If it's okay with you that I put it in Hindi, let me know that also because I keep sharing videos about my Hindi uh, channel on my community page here. So, of course, please let me know. Look at this. I have a weird pimple that's come here on my neck. Whenever I feel like I'm just done with my foundation and everything's in place, I continue to blend it a little bit extra. Like I'll just do these pats with the blender a little bit extra because this just helps give that flawless finish. Like, you know, that second skin finish I was telling you guys about just patting it in, blending it in for a few more extra beats will help give that airbrushed second skin wala finish. Now it's time to cover these dark circles. So I'm going in with a little bit of corrector and I've chosen the Ellie Girl corrector today in creamy beige. Uh, in fact, recently on my Hindi channel, I did a video about how I cover my dark circles. It's something that I thought would be really helpful because it's a quick and easy video on like few steps that help me make sure my dark circles are well like covered, concealed um, and also how to keep them like that all through the day because so many times people feel like once they cover their dark circles, those lines start appearing after a while. 
Uh, next with a little bit of concealer over here I'm using the wet and wild concealer and I'm just filling out this gap in the middle you know one of my biggest fears I'm realizing as I film this one of my biggest fears about filming makeup videos is I feel that they should not become too chatty or too long because I don't want to bore you guys like is that something that you guys think about beauty content tell me this is me taking like a survey over here please don't mind it okay I just want to know what you guys want to see I want to know better what you want to see I want to know what you think about the content out there I don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over I want to keep trying new things and I can't try new things unless you guys tell me at the moment the only thing I have is the data that YouTube gives me in the sense the age group of who's watching my videos or which city you're from and of course the fact that certain videos get more kinds of likes and views as opposed to like others which is why I told you कि ये थोड़ा सा कम हो रहा है मेरे चैनल पर बट यू गाइज नीड टू टॉक टू मी इन द कॉमेंट्स एंड टेल मी कि देखना क्या है वॉट डू यू वॉन्ट टू सी ऑन द चैनल मोर ऑफ लेस ऑफ इन फैक्ट आई रियली बिन इन जॉइंग डूइंग द यूट्यूब को लैब्स रिसेंटली लाइक माई चिट चाट सीरीज वी एक्चुअली हैव शॉर्ट थ्री एपिसोड बट ओनली टू एपिसोड आर आउट आई डोंट थिंक द थर्ड एपिसोड वी शॉर्ट विल कम अप बिकॉज द क्रिएटर दैट आई शॉर्ट विथ हैज एक्सीडेंटली डिलीटेड हर फुटेज and has been unavailable to go ahead and reshoot it and all um so i'm not sure if that will happen but i definitely want to do more collabs with creators out there i definitely want to do more stuff that i think will be helpful but also entertaining for you guys to watch that's very important for me i don't want to make content just for myself what's the point in that so i've mixed the concealer and the corrector but i feel like there's not enough coverage like i feel you can see a little bit of my dark circles also keep in mind that apart from dark circles i have very deep set eyes also so i'm opening my cupboard right now and pulling out one more concealer that i think will help so i'm going ahead and using the benefit boeing this is a concealer that i've been reaching for a lot recently um and it's just something that has really been doing the job to perfection which i totally obviously appreciate see the difference between both the eyes it's just suddenly concealed brightened and the deep set effect is gone i really really you can see now why i'm reaching for this concealer so much more i feel like my lips are feeling a little bit dry i realize i forgot to put lip balm i'm just using the nykaa lip balm over here the serial kisser one this is in the shade peachy Okay so now it's time to set my under eyes in and I have the K Beauty loose powder over here in the shade olive. I've tried a few different shades and I think olive was the one that suited me best. Um I've also tried pecan and I've also tried I think toffee. Obviously the translucent one was absolutely perfect for me, but I'm hoping that olive was the correct one cuz I'm slightly confused. I don't remember which one. Yeah. This looks like the correct one. So if you're around my shade, olive should work. The translucent one that I've tried worked so beautifully for me. I could also bake and highlight with the help of it. But I'm someone that prefers like a pigmented loose powder, not a plain white one, not the translucent one, basically. And see, it just goes really nicely with my skin. It is really, really high coverage. So keep in mind that you don't apply too much because you can see it's instantly mattified the hell out of this area. So I obviously I'm going to take a brush and quickly move aside any of the excess powder because I don't want that area to become fully matte when I'm trying for the rest of my face to look like dewy and fresh and juicy. There we go. Much better. But it sets in everything really nicely in the under eye area. I have used the translucent one a few times till I figured out my shade. I used the translucent one quite a bit, and I still have that like kept at hand because I think it's just so good. Chalo, next we're gonna do the brows, and for the brows, I'm going with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pencil. This comes with a pencil on one side and the spoolie on the other, which makes it really, really convenient. As usual, I always just start with a few general flicks around my brow. I like to just give it a little bit of shape, fill it up a little bit, and then I'll go in specifically on the spots that I know I need the help on. You can literally see the difference between both the eyebrows right now. This one is so nicely shaped and filled in. I'm going to take the other end of the same product and gently just comb out the brow and i'm going to obviously pull all the hair towards the outside which gives it a really nice uh naturally slightly feathery finish for the eyebrows and then to set it in place i have the anastasia beverly hills clear brow gel which is really really great 
I'm taking the product and again very gently pulling it a little bit outward. Okay, so it's time for the eyes and I'm a little extra excited because I was feeling a little colorful today. I have pulled out this very colorful, very beautiful palette from Makeup Revolution. It's the Makeup Revolution X Tammy uh, palette and it's full of colors but as you can see one of my pigments is completely broken if I remember correctly it came in the courier like that I am feeling pretty colorful today so let's see what this look eventually turns out like I'm excited um, but I'm also a little bit nervous because I know this palette does have fallout and I'm gonna need to work with it so let's just start I'm taking the yellow shade and going all over my lid oh my god there is already yellow fallout over here this is gonna be a tough look to put together so what I'm actually thinking I should do is I should add some excess powder below and keep it okay so I'm taking a little bit of the Jeffree Star loose powder which is one of the best loose powders I have ever tried not gonna lie he really does know how to make amazing product um i am gonna go ahead and leave it under my eyes so that in case there's any fallout this baby will salvage it you know one of you asked me in my virtual meet and greet a couple of months ago what is my opinion on the whole drama with jeffrey star and everything that constantly surrounds him i don't really have any thoughts on that in particular that i want to get into because i i don't appreciate a lot of that he's done but when i'm a when I'm praising a product that he's made, I'm literally only talking about the product. That I want to make clear because I don't want to make it sound like I'm standing for all the drama. I'm someone who even in my real life doesn't care for drama. I'm someone who really, really appreciates straightforward, straight upness. If you follow my self-care Sunday series, I think you might already know that about me. Um, but I don't stand for that but of course I'm going to be very unbiased and give an honest opinion about the products I'm using which is why so many times I also tell you guys that I buy a lot of this makeup to give you reviews because some of the brands that are available in India and that I used to receive PR from have gone ahead and taken me out of their PR lists just because I haven't agreed to do said number of posts in praise for their product or because I may have compared their product to some other product so I'm not here to feed egos I'm here to feed you information that's authentic and honest um, and I'm here to entertain you I'm not here for anyone else okay I'm switching brushes and I'm going into this dark like violet shade over here I really really wanted to do something colorful today you guys I hope this turns out the way I'm visualizing it because this fallout on the palette as well as like on my under eyes which is now thankfully protected is real. I'm taking the violet eyeshadow and going into the outer corner with a really really light hand. I want to see how they blend together. I want to see how they do before I really commit to how much pigment I want here. I'm not a very like extra person by nature but when I try to do these extra looks um, I'm always like in my head Kuch zyada nahi ho ra, ke theek lag ra hai. Is it blending nicely? I'm always thinking like thousand thoughts So I like how they're blending But I feel like both the eyes look a little bit different This one is falling a little flatter Whereas this one is a little more rounded and correct So I'm just gonna try to match it as much as I can I'm going back into the yellow with my first brush To just build up the yellow a little bit Which I think has gotten a little lost Okay, I realize that this is one of my most colorful palettes, but it's definitely not one of my favorites. The colors are not standing out the way I would have wanted them to, so I'm just trying to make the most of it. Now with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, which is a really, really stunning palette that I've used on so many occasions. I'm taking a little bit of raw sienna, which is a really nice natural nude shade, and I'm just gonna blend the purple out into to give it like a really nice soft line not like a harsh line not turning out to be my favorite look right now all the way I imagined it so let's see how I might be able to salvage it taking a little bit of primavera from the same palette 
to brighten up that inner corner. You guys know this is my signature style. I always, always top up the eyeshadow with a little bit of inner corner brightening that helps open out the eyes and adds that little glamorous oomph. See what I mean? That inner corner, that gradient that you get is just so beautiful. And I feel like it instantly adds that glam and adds that personality to the eye makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the base rather the layer of protection that I think I got, thankfully. This palette is really colourful but the payoff is so up and down between the pigments. Like it's really nice for some of the shades, like the yellow is really easy to build up but like for example this purple really was not. So I feel like the consistencies between the shades are very up and down. If I continue to do more makeup tutorials for you guys or rather like what I mean is if I do them more consistently if you guys say eventually I'll read the comments and figure I want to like keep playing with more colour, I want to try more things, I want to like just kind of step out of my comfort zone like this is definitely every I'm such a basic B that I feel like stepping out of my comfort zone means like doing things or techniques that I haven't tried as yet um, and that to me is a challenge but it's still something I enjoy also um, I'm going back in with a small brush with that same purple and just giving myself a little color on the lower lash line that I think really helps complete a look it's also something I don't land up doing very often um, I'm someone who is guilty for sure of leaving my lower waterline bare so often it's not even funny and it's not even good because like something like this really does complete the look in that one small step. Okay so there's definitely a little bit of unevenness between both the points so I'm just gonna leave a little bit of powder here and a little bit of powder here to help kind of cut that out and make it okay. We'll take that out in a few seconds. Okay, Chalo, in the meanwhile, let's move to the face. Um, I'll come back to the eyes once we wipe this powder out for the liner, lashes and all of that. Uh, I'm using the My Glam Twin Faced Concealer in the shade Dusky. This is actually a concealer, but because it's a dark shade, it is really, really good to use as a contour as well. Plus, because it's got a crayon finish, it just helps me give more precision to where exactly I want the contour to go. I'm gonna go ahead and start blending as much as i love using powdered bronzers and like i love using hula i feel like whenever i use a creamy bronzer or a creamy contour it just helps give that skin finish again and i land up using a beauty blender or a sponge which gives me a much more even finish and it's just so much easier to work with for the blush i'm going with hot mama from the balm this is a really nice pink tone and it actually has very nice, very delicate um, shimmery particles in them. It's not a highlighter, it's a blush, but it gives that little bit of reflect, which is really pretty to work with, especially if your skin tone is around mine. Just quickly wiping away that excess powder that we put some time ago. Okay, now that I've got all of that excess powder out of the way, I'm going in with a little bit of the MAC gel pot to make my winged liner. I feel like a wing liner is so classic to like just being my signature style and the MAC gel pot is a product I've used a lot in the past for some reason it just kind of became something that got pushed to the back of my drawer and uh, now I'm back at it and back in love with it it's so easy to work with if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to this then of course you can also consider using the Maybelline gel pot or the L'Oreal gel pots which are both really beautiful also I'm really happy with how the look is turning out so far despite a few glitches here and there with the fallout and the under eyes and all of that um, what I'm gonna do next is take some K-Beauty Kajal I'm gonna go ahead and tight line my eyes with these but only on the upper lash line not on the lower lash line and then I'm using the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara and just going into the lashes both the upper as well as the lower lashes to give it a nice coat before we go ahead and apply those lashes. Okay, I've pulled you guys in quite a bit and I realized I should have probably done this a little bit sooner. Damn, I promise to do a better job next time. I'm taking the Blackcurrant Lacme pencil and I feel like my under eye is a little bit bare. I have the purple going a little bit like under the lash but just to add a little more color and to stick with the theme of yellow and purple, giving myself some more purple inside the eyes. There you go. This looks a lot better, huh? You're really close to my face right now. I should have probably done this a little bit sooner. See, I'm not doing makeup tutorials that often. So my are That's basically what's happening. Okay, I'm gonna go and come back with my lashes on in just a second. Okay, 
back with lashes on i'm wearing lashes after so long i'm just like wow um i'm gonna quickly do some highlighter on my face right now i am someone who usually tends to leave the highlighter for the second last step just before i go for my lips so that my cupid's bow can be enhanced really nicely with highlighter there you go before i've got any lipstick on it Ooh, it's shining um this k beauty highlighter is like beaming it literally is so shiny I need to remind myself to apply lesser of it so I don't look like a disco ball. I've applied the highlighter on all the high points of my face. All I'm gonna do is, with the help of a brush, just dull this one down a tad bit. Okay, next up, I'm picking up Romance from also K Beauty actually and outlining my lips. Okay, here's a product I'm really excited to use. It is Sandy Mauve in a liquid lipstick from Hero Beauty. This is a homegrown Indian brand. When I'm looking at the packaging, I thought it would be a little bit more nudie, um, like a nice nudie mauve. Let's go ahead and apply it and see if it works out for the look. Okay, so this is a formula that I've swatched on my hands before, but I'm applying it on my lips for the first time and I love how smooth the application is. The product glides on really easily and it dries down to an absolute matte, which is really, really great. Okay, I'm quickly going to go ahead and spray myself with some MAC Fix Plus, which is going to help set my makeup in place for longer hours. All right, and with that, this makeup look comes to an end. This makeup tutorial comes to an end. It has turned out to be quite a glam look and I'm personally really happy with it. But I want to know, of course, what your thoughts about this makeup tutorial and this final makeup outcome is. I have played with yellow and purple individually, maybe even together at some point in the past, but I want to play with more colors and I want to know your thoughts on colorful makeup. And I've already asked you enough times in this video if you do want to see more makeup tutorials going forward. Beauty content in terms of favorites, routines, all that kind of stuff I'll keep sharing. But makeup tutorials in particular, I definitely want to know your thoughts of, especially chatty, review-based ones like this because this is very my vibe and I would love to do more of this if you want to watch them. So don't forget to tell me your thoughts about that down below in the comments. Which reminds me, the Wefam comment shout out for the day goes to Ananya Gupta. Make sure you guys keep talking to me down below in the comments because I'm always reading, liking, hearting and replying to all of your comments always. I make it a point to do this a few times a day. If you guys are enjoying my content here on my channel, just a reminder to please go ahead and hit that like button which helps my channel out quite a bit. And of course, turn those bell notifications on so you can keep coming back for lots more videos because i promise you i have a lot in store for you and some fun surprises which should be coming up really really soon too i love you guys very 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 much talk to me in the comments because i've asked you a bunch of questions in today's video and i will be reading those responses thank you so much for watching once again i love you all bye guys